Good morning, and maybe not good morning. Happy Monday. Maybe also not happy Monday. Happy Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever day you're watching this video on. It's my Monday, and I just finished the first full week of the 30-day powerlifting challenge that I'm doing from No Pants Sammy. If you didn't see the link last week, I will link to it again in the description below. That's my dog over there, Asha, shaking her head. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought already. So I will, yeah, I'll link to the powerlifting challenge below and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm lifting, uh, what my program is like. You'll be able to do the challenge with me, which would be super fun. You'll be able to do the challenge without me. Maybe you're doing the challenge and you're not telling me about it, which why, why be a dick? Just, you know, let's, let's do it together. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a recap of week one. I will tell you what I'm changing for week two. There actually are a fair number of changes. I will tell you how I'm going to celebrate when all of this is over, when I complete the 30 day challenge. And then I'm going to throw in a couple of tips along the way. Um, before I get started with all of that, I just want to apologize for the quality of this video. I don't have a real camera, so uh, I've got my iPhone and I've got this laptop, which um, you know, things are looking a little bit gritty in there, so sorry about that. Um, bear with me, uh, and we'll get it done. Um, week one to week two. The biggest thing that I'm changing is going to be my lifting schedule. Uh, I thought that I'd be able to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I'm not. I am going to be switching over to Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and that is because Wednesdays just do not work with my work schedule. I will not be able to get to the gym, not even for a 30-day challenge. Um, so I'm changing that right off the bat. That is my tip number one. Ding! If you're trying to lift on a schedule that doesn't work for you, it's not, it's not going to help you to be consistent, and you will find much more success if you just change things. Um, change them right away. Uh, what I'm doing is, you know, just swapping some days around here and there so that I will be able to stick to a program consistently. And whether you are going to the gym, whether you're running, whatever it is you're doing, hopefully not CrossFit, uh, yeah, just do it consistently. Find the days that work for you. Find the times that work for you, whether it's morning or evening, um, and just stick to it. And you'll find a lot more success in that. Uh, you'll be able to keep going a lot longer with it. Um, so this week I lifted on Monday, Thursday, Saturday. Um, I'm going to have uh, an extra rest day in there technically. Um, since I'm not squatting today, I will be going to the gym tomorrow. It's not going to be a real rest day for me because I'm going to go and lift with my friend Blake later. And if you are watching this video before that happens, you'll be able to catch it on Snapchat. And if you're not already following me on Snapchat, I will give you my Snapchat name so that you can find me also in the description below. And if you are watching this after it happens, go and add me on Snapchat now so that you don't miss out on the future fun. The other thing that I wanted to add in about that was if I were actually prepping for a powerlifting meet or if I were doing uh, a bodybuilding show or something like that, I wouldn't be lifting on my rest days because it would conflict with my goals. Since I'm just doing this challenge for fun, I am going to go lift and have some fun with my friend Blake. So um, what else is changing? I used a calculator to um, figure out what my projected one rep maxes would be. Uh, like I said, since I have never tested them before, and I'm going to have to update those because I was able to lift a lot more this week than I thought I could, but maybe also it's because I'm just so strong. And uh, I'm going to be referring to this little notebook. This is where I track all of my workouts, um, just so that I can tell you what my numbers were and what they will be for the coming week. <clears throat> Um, that's actually my tip number two. Ding, ding. Um, if you're not tracking your workouts, start now. It is so useful for so many reasons. Um, primarily for me, it's because I have a shitty memory and I, I wouldn't be able to remember anything that I did, what weights I was using, how many reps I was doing. Um, so if you're like me, um, write it down. And 
I've been writing everything down for probably about two years now. It's super useful to me, not only for uh, being able to challenge myself from week to week and to add reps or to add weight, but I'm able to make little notes about maybe a cue that really worked for me. Um, maybe I was having a bad day and I'm watching my numbers go down, um, but I'll be able to put in that maybe I didn't get a lot of sleep that day, or I'll be able to write in what was helping me to break a personal record. Um, maybe it's a new pre-workout. Um, lifting jokes. Uh, anyway, my day one was a squat day. And my projected one rep max when I started um, was 140 pounds. Based on what my top set was, which was 120 pounds for nine reps, my new projected one rep max is 154, which is a 14 pound increase. Um, the second day of the program was a bench press day. Technically it was my day four because I had some rest days in there. And my projected one rep max was 93 pounds. It is now 115 pounds, which is 23 pound increase. I'm going to attribute a lot of that to actually fixing my bench form. It was pretty sad to begin with. And my friend Sophia, hi Sophia, and thank you Sophia for helping me with that. Uh, if you have friends that lift, then take advantage of them. Um, Ask them to watch what you're doing and uh, maybe give you some tips, but only if they know what they're doing because um, people like to give a lot of bad advice. Um, anyway, you can also film what you're doing and post that online and ask for help from other people online that probably maybe know what they're doing a little better than um, some randos in the gym. Anyway. Day three of the program, deadlift day, which is my personal favorite day, uh, projected one rep max was 193 and it has gone up to 205. So, um, yeah, those are those are the three days. We had day one, which is squat day and leg stuff. We had day two, which was bench press and arm and shoulder and upper body stuff. We had day three, which was deadlift day and back stuff and if I were on a bodybuilding program I'd probably throw in a hip thrust day and some butt stuff <laughs> butt stuff and anyway that's my joke for the week stop me now uh what else is going on oh I told you that I would tell you how I'm celebrating for the end of this 30-day challenge uh thank you to my friend Marco for helping me to figure this out but what I will be doing is a special video if I do finish the challenge I will be putting 10 scoops of ice cream on me, uh, you can help me decide where, and I will be putting 10 scoops of ice cream in me, so that's going to be fun. Um, but I have to get there first. So uh, what else did I tell you? Uh, I would tell you. I told you tips, um, recap. Um, that's basically everything that's going to be changing for the first week. I did get some really good tips on my form uh, from Sammy, so I will be changing a couple of things here and there. You'll be able to see all of my video recaps of my workouts on my Instagram, and if you're not following me on Instagram, I will link to that as well below. Um, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, um, do the challenge. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm still really scared uh, because I've been getting the emails uh, with the with the programs um, in advance and I'm not looking forward to week three, but also I am. So that will be coming up. Um, I've got week two to look forward to. I have a lot of ice cream to look forward to. If you have any questions about what I'm doing or if you want to cheer me on, go and tell me on Instagram or Facebook or here. And if you don't want to cheer me on, you're an asshole and I don't know why we're friends. Um, we're probably not friends. Um, so with all of that being said, I'm going to take off and go meet up with Blake and I'll see you next week.